hello guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll be talking about why i decided to buy the atomos ninja v in 2023 if you don't know i shoot with the canon c70 as my main camera and that's where i shoot on the sony a7s mark 3 and i will sharing three major reasons why i bought this for my canon c70 the first and major reason why i bought this monitor is because of the recording option even though my canon c70 has everything inbuilt and i don't basically need the recording option i want to assume there will be a situation in the future or i will be in a situation whereby i don't have my canon c70 with me and i need to record externally to access some pro recording options monitoring options via the monitor or via the camera and if the camera i'm shooting with currently does not have those options i will need the uh, ninja v so that's why i bought the ninja v even though my canon c70 can do basically everything by itself and i don't really need to record externally but i might be in a situation whereby i will need that and i can just easily bring out my ninja v and attach it to the camera and assess all of those options the recording options the monitoring options all of those are inbuilt in the uh, ninja v so that's the major reason and the most important reason why i bought it over other cheaper options i could have um, gotten the shinobi which is also from atomos and it is way cheaper than the ninja v but i felt i might not need the recording option now but I might need it in the future so that's why i bought the ninja v the second reason why i bought the ninja v is because of the color accuracy and the build of the monitor over other monitors this is almost close to what my camera is producing and prior to this time i've used the ninja v paired with the fx's and fx30 and the color accuracy is second to none and that is one of the main reasons why I decided to go for this for my Canon C70 as well and also for my A7S3. I know that the color accuracy level is very high and I don't want to be in a situation where I'm shooting on my camera and my camera is producing a certain depth of color and the monitor I'm using is producing something else. To avoid that um, problem with what the camera is producing and what the monitor is giving you need to get a monitor that can produce almost the same color depth with your camera so that's for me why i bought the ninja v as the second reason why i bought the ninja v and lastly the third reason why i bought the ninja v which is common to almost everybody is for that bigger feed of view this is five inch and i think that's why it is ninja v which is five i want the bigger feed of view my screen is big the canon c70 screen is big but not big enough so in situation whereby i need to nail focus i need to nail my exposure and all of those things the screen on the canon c70 or the a7s3 might be too small to do that so that's why I bought the Ninja V to have that bigger feed of view. As you can see, this is five inch screen. So I think that will serve the purpose very well. And lastly, not a major reason why I bought it, but also presently I'm trying to build up my Canon C70 rig and I want to minimize the amount of shake coming out from the camera. So I need to add a bit of weight to the build. So that's why I bought this as something to complement the weight. And that's it for me. For you, you might not need the recording option on the Ninja V. The Shinobi might be enough for you. And maybe in the future you feel you won't need or if you need, you have to go and buy the Ninja V. Or you don't like the Atomos brand. There are other brands out there that produce um, good and color accurate monitors and are a bit cheaper than this you can look into all of those and decide which one is best for you but for me i feel the ninja v is the better option for me for now and that will be all for today thank you all for watching to this point 
and I will see you in the next video.